It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Yes, sir. Okay, Wendy. We have the next subject is death of dynasties. You know of of hip hop groups. You of know, empires, hip hop empires. Let's break them down. We got G Unit, Dipset, Rough Riders, Rockefeller, Death Row, No Limit, and it seems like Cash Money's going this way. They haven't gone totally that way yet, but. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's just have a conversation about the death of these dynasties. I mean, the the, the most hurtful one was probably Rockefeller, because uh, we saw it fall apart in our face. You know? Yeah, that was that one was really sad because it was it was an empire, you know, and it was one of the backbones of the golden era of hip hop. Yes, you know, and we we all uh, looked up to Rockefeller, you know. Mm-hmm. They were the underdog, and they became the superstar label. What do you think? Yeah. The, what do you think? Looking from the outside in, what do you think the real problem was there? It's hard to say. It looks like the relationship between Dame and Jay soured. Yeah. And again, I wasn't on the inside. You know, I'm an outsider looking in, and it it appears that Jay busted a move and and left. Yeah. You know, well, Jay, um, Jay shed some light on this and lost out. ones and lost ones. He says too much Sam Rothstein, not enough, you know, so too much. Uh, he was trying to be a rapper too much versus being a businessman. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. On lost ones. You saying Dame was trying to be a rapper too much or Jay? Yes, Dame. Oh, well, too awesome much. Saying. Too much Sam Rothstein, not enough. Remember that line and lost yeah, ones? Yeah. I remember the line. Yeah. So I guess at the big pimping, Dame Dash pretty much, I guess, got into rapper mode without rapping on the mic or getting in the booth. I think so. He's pouring champagne on females, you know, chicks, whatever. Yeah, he was going the puffy route because everybody was kind of getting that puffy route around that time, you know, like the CEO can be in it too, you know. Uh, I think Damon Dash even says he almost started rapping at one point too, but it just didn't work out. Remember, they shed light yeah. in some interview. Wow. Yeah, he almost was. I didn't know, remember that. He was going to try being coming. Well, they never went. He had an with... album, Dame Dash presents. Um, I think what was that? The Champions with the singles, and he, yeah. I think he put it out. Oh, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know. I would have done the same thing. Um. So there, the relationship just fell apart. Yeah, that's uh, what it, that's what it appears to be. It appears to be that you know the the partnership broke down. Not only that, Jay Z went on to build Rock Nation and is yeah. hugely successful. Well, the artists were divided at that point because then Rockefeller got sold to Def Jam, where Jay was president, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And then he split that off and went to after a while and started Rock Nation. Right. right. Went to yeah. I think he had a deal with Live Nation and went to Sony. I mean, what a chess move! What a chess move on Jay's Definitely. part, right? Well, guys, what do you think? What do you think about somebody who has partners their whole career and then kind of mm-hmm. X's them out and moves on? Like, how do you feel about that? And that's was it you, disloyal uh, or was it a uh, smart right, business? Do you want to go first or should I go? You can go first if you'd like to. Um, I feel like you don't have to be a um, partner in on everything with a partner that you may, may have came into business with. Mm-hmm. I think if you decide to expand in a whole different direction, you know, you, you have the right to say, you know what, I'm doing this and we're going to continue to do this until we say, okay, you know what, um, 2007, we're going to, you know, probably uh, fold the label. I think it should be communication before. Right. Right. You know, people start expanding on and, and, and really even continuing on. It should be like a ceiling. Right. In terms of, you know, are we all the way in to death do us part or we here for five years or when we get a certain amount of money or sell a certain amount of records. It should be communication. Right. You know, every year it should be like, you know, let's sit down and see where we at with it. You know, but I definitely don't agree with having a partner and everything you do, they get 50% of, or they, you know, they automatically becomes your partner. If you decide to go fishing and want to, you know, have a fishing business and selling bait and, and, and fishing rods and different things like that, it's like, that's totally different 
did in the entertainment business. Right. So, you know, I saw, so, I knew yeah. something was wrong when I when I was at the, this was my first thing. I was, uh, I think I was at the end of high school or beginning of college. And I was at that old boy video. And uh -huh. Jay-Z came. And I saw just like how Jay-Z just didn't mess with the Harlem dude. You know, I just saw a separation mm. there. Kevin Le Leo Cohn was there. They took a big picture. And, mm. you know, being a guy, a kid that didn't give a shit around the time I walked straight up to Jay-Z and I said, hey, man, I would love to get an interview. <laughs> you know, and you can't even fathom this nowadays. I go, right up, I'd love to do an interview, bro. I, I respect you. Um, but uh, he said, I said, who was your manager? I knew that I knew I had to get a manager's name. He said, manager. <laughs> This is my number directly at the office. Here you go. I was um, like, you manage yourself? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, salute. That's gangster. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. Whoa. That so was... did he do the interview or did he spin you? <laughs> Man, I was a fan. I was never going to call Jay-Z. I was too scared to call Jay-Z okay. directly. It would have worked better. You with was the too scared to call him, but you went up to him directly? Anyway, I, I, it was because like he didn't think come true, bro. Honestly, I mean, listen to Jay-Z, my, uh, you know. My whole high school life. He went. He went up to him as a reaction, but when he got home and had to think about it, then it became pressure. I was like, know? I'm not calling Jim. That oh my yeah. god, I have to call him. I, have I to used to call Jim to Jones a lot around that time though, because he was managing Cameron more so than anything. I yeah. used to call Jim Jones a lot because I got his number at the video. Oh yeah. I was surprised. Even Wendy picked up my calls around that time. I was fucking nobody. <laughs> 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 Talking to all these people on the phone, like I do, like I'm some. I used to lie. I used to be like, "Yeah, I work for MTV." Uh, you got to lie your way in the game. <laughs> that's funny. Fake it till you make it, huh? Yeah, you that's did you job? did you lie to me or were you were you? No, I was straight up with you because I got your number through Necro. Remember, I was working with Necro. Oh right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you knew the deal. You knew right. I was just some college scrub, not even in the industry yet. You were, <laughs> yeah, you were filming. You filmed. Was it a documentary on him? Because I remember yeah. you came to one of the cipher sessions that I did. Yes, that's where I got an interview with you about Necro. Mm -hmm. I wow. remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, now, it was definitely. No, not to cut you off, but now, Wendy, how do you feel about uh, coming into business with a partner and it's, say, 10 years later and you want to expand? Do you feel like that partner should, that, that partner should I guess, be 50% on on everything you do? That's outside... No. No, no. I, I think that I think that as you expand into other areas mm -hmm. that you should own your own business. What I have a problem with mm -hmm. is somebody who didn't continue the original business with that partner and kind of, it, it looked again as an outsider looking in. I'm not inside, but mm -hmm. it appeared that Jay kicked Damon Biggs to the curb when they had funded his whole career and his whole movement and risked their lives to get the money to do that. It just seemed a little foul to me that somebody would have an attitude like, Oh, you've made enough money off of me. And, and he may not have felt that he may not have said that to them. That may not be the issue at all, but that's how it came off. And I don't like the way it came off. At that same time, mm -hmm. when he was getting out of their their partnership, mm -hmm. there were also guys from the streets talking about how Jay did them ugly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I wish I could remember their names. Calvin Klein was one, and the others the other guy's name was De Delorean. De Haven. De Haven. De Haven. Thank you, yeah. De Haven. So wow. there was already some rumblings about how he was a disloyal man, and then all of a sudden this move came which appeared extremely disloyal because it wasn't like he was trying to start a side company. It was right. like he wanted to keep going on the Rockefeller on the thing. route he was on, yeah, didn't exactly. like the way his partner was handling the business and kicked him to the curb. That's now, how it looked. I, I, yeah. I used to look at it that way, and I don't look at it that way anymore after getting to know Damon Dash more through his interviews and everything. Right. The guy has. How a, do you look at it? I think he he uh, Damon Dash was great in the beginning. You know, he just goes full force in, got Jay in the business. But once they had the, you know, that power, Damon Dash abused his power. He's one of those people that abuses the power, and oh, he it did? was gonna he was gonna kill 
the brand at one point. You know, like okay. Jay probably didn't like the way he was handling his business. He said, "We're gonna hit a wall at this point." Jay had visions of going to where he's at now, you know, right. and expanding beyond. But he wouldn't be able to do that with Damon Dash, so he well, probably had to do what was best for him. Why get rid of Biggs? Why because Biggs, Cause Biggs had a loyalty to Damon Dash. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I and I and if you remember, Biggs stayed with Damon Dash after that. He he could have gone with Jay Z. I'm sure he could have. You know, because he he made he didn't say anything publicly. You know, right. Props so, to him for staying with Damon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Props to him. He stayed. They still had an office. I remember right in Times Square. You know, just seething money. You know, they were just you know they they had kids. They were buying companies that didn't make sense. You know, right. I really like Dame Dash. You know, I, I know a lot of people in the industry say that he's arrogant. I've never found him arrogant. Like he's never been arrogant. So do you to agree me. with him downplaying a working person with a job? Um, I've never heard him do that. Go watch the Breakfast Club interview and then you'll have a okay. different opinion on him. Okay. I'll yeah. watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like Damon Dash. I, I, I let's not take anything away from him as being a businessman. He's amazing. Right. Yeah, but Dane I think Dash. his outlook on some things stops him from going to where he should really be. Gotcha. You yeah, know, I'm not close enough to him. He's to, very to, into, to like, the number one rule in business is don't spend your own money. And he preaches spend your own money. But if you're starting a company, people that are billionaires will tell you don't use your own money. And don't take right, a loan, but maybe money. get an well, investor. I, I think there's no wrong way in that because... Everybody's success is not going to work out the same way. True. So if you use seed I use my money, money, yeah. If you use seed money to start your businesses and it works for you, mm-hmm. then you know kudos to you, salute to you. Mm-hmm. But some people, all they know is I need an investor. Oh, right. I, I need that's, to get a well, record. That's what deal. worked for him in the beginning. I see what you're yeah. saying, Rex. So yeah. that's his. It doesn't money. work out for everybody the same yeah. way. Right. The yeah. great thing about not having investors, and that was the path that I chose, uh-huh. is that I own my company 100%. The downside is that had I had an investor, mm-hmm. I could have done so much more. Of you know, I could I could have built an empire. That's but why when that people go on the Shark Tank, right? And they're like, right. they're, they're, I don't know if we should do it. It's 30%. Well, what the hell are you going to do when you go home? This person's going right. to get you here in a year. It's going to take you 10 years. Right. So fucking it's sometimes you got to take a loss to take a win. Is it is a gift and a curse on both aspects. It is. Absolutely. You just have and to you choose the right investor. For you, you have you to know? choose the right investor because if you, you choose the wrong one, you're screwed. Right. All money I is not good. I think you just got to negotiate the right, the right situation. And they also right. have to be able to offer something for real and really get right. behind and it. Right, and it should be, in, it, if you need guidance, it should be more than money, you know? Sometimes an investor brings more to the table than just finance. Yeah, because they resources. They might have resources. A lot of times they could pick up the phone and, and make certain calls. Absolutely, make things happen. Happen, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, let's, let's go to the next one. Jordan Tower, JT News.